Hey everybody, welcome to the market update video. Today is uh, Sunday, August 6th and uh, looking at the SPX, as you can see, it's a really bullish uh, time right now and I think a lot of expectation is being built into the S&P uh, 500, I mean into the indexes in general uh, because of the expected at least some, something on uh, tax reform. So. Uh, the S&P is fairly richly uh, valued at the moment and at the same time it could go higher but however I want to uh, just highlight one thing which is at an all time high is about 2484 right there so okay so this is the 2485 and so it's approaching a very big round number and that's the 2500 so whenever these major indices approaches big numbers, big round numbers, you, you can expect to see some kind of a battle. And so to get an example of what I'm saying is even if you look at 2400 and of course 2500 is going to be a bigger round number than 2400. But if you look at 2400 level all the way from here, so this was what, 2395, 96, something like that. And so you can see that it got rejected at the 2400, came down and, and then it took about two to three to four months actually uh, to completely to clear that level and even then it sort of came back to that level but now the 2400 acted as support right here in the June July time frame so 24 2500 is going to be a big round number so that is something that may um, sort of put a damper to where it's going however uh, if something like tax reform uh, or something you know gets underway, then it could go uh, higher as well. But I would doubt it, given the current political environment. Not sure that anything can be passed, uh, at least not in the next uh, couple of months or so. Regardless, let's go look at some stocks. The one that I'm really looking at is Tesla, and sort of this is like the trade idea of the week too. Uh, Tesla just reported just about two three days ago if anybody was following the results were nice and you can see that it's uh, made a big move let me zoom in there all right so this is a great move here and so from 320 around 320 let's say it moved up to 351 it's probably going to go higher however you know you may want to wait uh, for a slightly better entry point even about five six dollars lower I would say it would be an entry point because uh, I think, uh, you know, people are going to be coming into the stock again. You can see the all-time high is 386, so it's only at 351. And then for the next, uh, until the next earnings report at least, uh, given overall market conditions also cooperate, I think Tesla is probably looking to go to 400. So uh, maybe, uh, you, know, a, a, you know, anything on the long side, which is, uh, on the long bullish side would be good, you know, if you want to go straight out calls or a call spread, a call calendar, call condor, all of these trades would be good. But what I would say is given that it's just gone up uh, the last two days uh, really nicely, I would wait for a pullback. Now the risk with that is obviously we may not get a pullback and come Monday, uh, Tesla might charge higher. But I, I don't think so. I think it's, you know, it's okay to wait for a uh, couple of days, two, three days, if uh, you know, to get the right entry point. Now, bear in mind, any of these trade ideas are based on a swing trade uh, sort of an environment. So basically, uh, you would want to, uh, you know, think of it as a good idea for anywhere from three weeks to maybe six weeks, something like that. Because, you know, at, with all stocks, obviously, when the next earnings report comes, there's an element of speculation there anyway. So uh, you want to be careful of that. So anything, I think, between that, given that it's just released earnings over the next three to six weeks, I would, I would expect Tesla to sort of go higher and uh, try to take out this uh, previous high of 387. So uh, you, you might want to play it according to that. But given that it's uh, just gone up, maybe a better entry point would be the thing to wait for. So that's the update. All other stocks, I think many stocks are going to report earnings as well. So Apple was a blockbuster. And so, uh, but I think Tesla is going to be a bigger, better trade idea than Apple. Now, uh, this is the insiders program. If uh, anybody hasn't, uh, uh, if you don't uh, know about this, you can come here on Option Tiger. You'll see the main, on the main homepage itself, you can see the insiders program. And you can uh, take a look at that. I think it's a very, uh, very uh, cost-effective way of accessing everything and including a lot of members-only sort of videos. Thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you inside. Thank you.